In basketball, there was the Jordan rules. With the U.S. National Volleyball team, there is the David Smith rule. Fortunately, David is a guy that can set and dig the ball. And so when the ball is up in the air and there's some question about who's going to take the ball, he can take the ball because he can control it so well. So we just call, I call it the David Smith rule. And that is when David wants it, David gets it. Basically because uh, I'm hard of hearing. And so a lot of stuff that happens on the court, I can't pick up through audio cues. And so uh, they just basically, uh, they decided when college, you know, I, uh, I had proved myself with enough ball control that if, you know, the ball was up in the air and I felt like I needed to take it, I would call it and everybody else kind of has to back off. Born 80% deaf, Smith doesn't let a disability hinder his success. Like, I, I, I want to do what I love to do, and I want to do it the best I can, so I'm not going to let the, the disadvantages or the handicaps that are perceived upon me to stop me. The California native grew up playing volleyball in high school, making an impression on John Spira, the head coach of UC Irvine who recruited Smith. It was spring of his senior year, and I watched him play, and I was like, that guy's big time. And it had something to do with his, his energy, his attitude on the volleyball court. He's a great competitor. Uh, he, he's athletic and he jumps really well. He's got a good arm. I, I just think I saw all those things in kind of a quick moment. I just knew. David's college coach is now the head coach of USA Volleyball, and like Spira, Smith enjoys advising the team. I love volleyball so much. I love talking about it. I love helping people get better. You know, taking the, the experience from the game that I love and try to help them, you know, play better and grow their love for the game too. A career highlight came in 2012 when David played for Team USA at the London Olympics. He eked onto the team at the 11th hour. It was a whirlwind. <laughs> that summer was definitely a whirlwind. Um, you know, I was, I was kind of on a bubble. I was on like a bubble guy last year, you know, as far as uh, making it or not making it. And I found out like a couple weeks beforehand that I was going. So it was kind of like, it was really exciting. You know, it was really exciting, a lot of fun. In 2012, Smith and his wife Kelly welcomed the birth of their first child, Cohen, to the family. Finding a balance between family and volleyball is challenging at times. Well, you know, I've, I've been grateful that my, I've been married with my wife my entire volleyball career. So she's been able to come with me to every country I've been to. Um, and now with my son, you know, he's been able to come. It's definitely different having a family. You know, you have to devote more time and um, you just have to really be a lot better with time management and balancing, you know, because obviously I, I want to be around my son and I want to be around my wife as much as I can, but at the same time, uh, it is my job to be the best that I can be when I step on the court. Smith's family will be cheering him on from the stands in August for the USA Volleyball Cup matches against Iran. For USA Volleyball, I'm Megan Guthrie of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.